we stuck about 30-35% of the occupancy. So that time, since we had a large, sizable IT parks and the commercial space, so we decided to get into the residential along with making sure that uh, IT parks and commercial space are fully leased, actually. So in 2002, uh, 2004 to 2010, we had acquired a large number of residential projects in which one, the largest township that we have acquired, which is in a Gurgaon in 2010, and the license for that we got in 2012. And the development is still going on. That we started with 100 acre. Now we have about 200 acre of the township. It's in uh, Golf Course Extension Red, uh, Road of the Gurgaon, which is the prime hub of the uh, Gurgaon. In the meantime, while we were doing so, uh, there were a lot of government policy support that has come. There are a lot of changes that has been happening. So government has granted real estate as a bank uh, banking sector and the land ceiling uh, act was removed. So that has helped us to consolidate the balance sheet, bring everything under into one umbrella. Uh, so in uh, between 2003 to 2010, we have done a lot of mergers, a lot of funding that has been taken from bank, a lot of uh, lease rental discounting that has been that that has helped us to create the growth capital for the company. Uh, see, as a, as a matter of a fact, the Anantra Limited that you see, it was not an listed company at that time. So that time we had a listed company called Anantra Clay Products. Because when we were doing the contracting business <laughs> around 1980-85, that time every construction material has a quota from the government. And since uh, vitrified tile was a new concept that time, there was a short supply of that actually. And we were facing a problem in a contracting business. So in about 1982-1983, we have decided to put a tile factory. The IP of that tile factory was done in 1985. So initially we had a listed company which was in a tile business. And uh, that tile business was doing okay. It was not great profit making activity. The stakeholder has not got any dividend, not got any bonuses around it. The stock price was not performing well. When we were consolidating our net uh, assets, which is a real estate asset. That time, uh, our founder chairman has taken a conscious call, saying that ki, these people have invested with the Anantraj. They are not invested into tile business. <laughs> because there was a resistant internally, they have invested into the tile business why to share the pie of the real estate with them. So, But still, uh, the 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 founder chairman has taken a call. The, all the private asset, which was a real asset, to be consolidated in a listed entity so that people who have invested with them are ultimately beneficiary of that. So that so all the asset has been transferred and merged with the Anantraj Clay product, and that has renamed the Anantraj industry, which you know as the Anantraj Limited. So two thousand three to two thousand ten was a period, you know, which was a period where a lot of changes that has happened. We migrated from a developer to a commercial asset developer to a residential player. Uh, we have merged our, all the business into one entity and probably that time our balance sheet was the strongest balance sheet in the real estate. The fallback of that was uh, our founder chairman, uh, Asok Sharinji, was more willing to do the development business than to doing a trading of an asset, real estate business, or working around the disputed asset. Whereas his younger brother was part in the business, had a more keen interest towards working towards trading of the asset and getting a disputed asset and sorted it out. That has led to a fraction within the brothers. And in 2012-13, even right, Pankajji? 12-13. Uh, there's a formal conversation happened between brothers. Ki the Asok Anil Sharinji, the younger brother of Asok Sharinji, wanted to split the business and they want his share to be to be segregated. Uh, see, this was the first case where a listed real estate company was to be was to be separated. So it took about two years to the group to understand ki how this can be segregated. Uh, thereafter, a scheme of demerger was prepared. Although the bankers, because the bankers have objected to this team merger, because the bankers said we invested with the uh, with the group and we doesn't want to go with the other group actually. 
and the policies were not clear so the liability was not getting square with each other so that was a complicated process that was going forward <laughs> so thereafter in the meantime uh, this reliance industry demerger happened and that has given a more insight to family spread then ultimately the second demerger scheme was filed in 2016 or 17 and ultimately that demerger took place in august 2020 uh where the both the boards has been separated the business the liability of uh, promoters has been waived off from one group to another group on 1st january 2021 uh the both company started functioning independently on the day that we got demerged the groups consolidated turnover was about 250 crore and there was a hardly any profit of the thing the total debt on the balance sheet was about 35 3600 crore which got splitted between two brothers so we got 16 50 crore as a debt on the date that we demerged uh, pankaj ji will explain you in the between number but i'll tell you what we have achieved in march 2024 so from a 250 crore turnover which was a consolidate of the both the group is 1500 plus crore only for the anantras limited the pact that we have declared in march 2024 more than the consolidated turnover that we had at the time of the demerger if you talk about the debt uh, we had a 1650 crore debt in the balance sheet which was, a, which was a high cost debt now by march 2024 we have a 210 crore of a net debt and uh, that is primarily most of this is against the discounting of the rentals in this in in between these between 2020 august to till now we have launched multiple projects we have entered into a new business vertical which is called data center business which is a highly promising emerging and dynamic business uh, we have created enough liquidity our debt has been squared off and our board is is constituted in a manner where we have a majority of the independent director they come from a very uh, <clears throat> Most experience. Uh, for example, we have a person called V K Choudhury on the board of director. He's ex CEC. He's on the board of Reliance Industries and the Tata Motors. Uh, and there are many more such names actually. So uh, this is how we are formed. So today's day, if we talk about the group, uh, we will say we have a three bucket of the things that we are doing. one is development of a residential township that we have over 200 acre land where we continuously adding the land and enhancing the development uh, potential another thing that we have is 101 acre of the land which is in a prime areas of the delhi which is primarily in the south delhi on nh8 near aro city and the third third major activity area is the data center business where we initially started with as an a co location service provider Uh, 6 megawatt is already operational now we step into the cloud business also along with the orange and we have a target to achieve 307 megawatt in 4 to 5 years time pankaj ji you can add if something i missed so uh, in real estate business uh, uh, we will add that uh, the project we have launched after the demerger is one uh, plotted colony in the name of ashok state that we completely sold out we launched a, a group housing project in 2024 uh, that has been sold completely and now uh, in this particular financial area we are going to launch to another uh, uh, residential project one is group housing and one independent flow the total saleable area will be 1.8 million and we are expecting the total top line from these two project is around 3000 to 3500 and this is one and the second if we talk about the potential of the 63a we have about 9 million square feet as to be do which we have planned to do over 3 to 4 years time the conservative estimation uh of the top line if we talk from these 9 million is about 16 to 18000 crore out of this then of course we have a joint venture in the township for 45 acre with the billa states wherein we'll get a net cash flow of 1000 crore from the jv company and the project is advanced stage where the construction is on advanced stage the the sales uh, the phases which has been launched fully sold 
एंड ये जो टॉप लाइन 16 से 18000 करोड़ की हम बात कर रहे हैं और ये प्लस थाउजेंड करोड़ अचीव जो आना है इसके सामने अगर हम कॉस्ट थाउजेंड करोड़ के सामने देर इज नो कॉस्ट दैट वी टू स्पेंड बट जो 16 टू 18 है उसके सामने वी टू स्पेंड अबाउट थर्टी एट हंड्रेड करोड़ काइंड ऑफ अ कॉस्ट दिस डज नॉट इंक्लूड आर रिसेंट एक्विजिशन ऑफ इलेवन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव एकर्स इन दिसम विसिनिटी एंड अदर स्मॉल स्मॉल लैंड पार्सल दैट वी एक्वायर्ड इन लास्ट टू ईयर्स टाइम एक्चुअली so we, uh, we also do the jda prospect in the real estate business now as we have done with uh, birla where the birla is the player who is running the project and uh, we have contributed as a land and they are uh, doing all the construction and development work for the birla uh, project and uh, now we are thinking that we can do the same thing uh, where the land aggregator will contribute their land and we will do the development and sale or marketing and everything so uh why we are doing this thing is uh today the uh, uh market <clears throat> is doing excellent uh the prices has reached to a reasonable level but simultaneously the land price has gone up very high uh we 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 believe as at anand raj acquiring land on outright basis or on these prices are feasible in the current market condition and if there is a deviation of 10 20% still it will be feasible and sustainable and a profitable but if market goes bad or if you to hold for a longer time then there could be huge holding cost and that may impact the profitability of the company to mitigate that risk we are talking to the land owner who owns the land to do an a jd where a certain percentage of revenue and an upfront deposit is made where the risk and reward is also given to the land owner and we are also protected from the downside of the profits so we have a plan to do about two to three project in such model where we are talking to the people and couple of discussion on the advanced stage of the of the metalization if we talk about the revenue potential of the data center colo business mathematics is very simple there is about average 90 lakh rupees per megawatt is something revenue that we get out of which spend about 15 lakh rupees as a operation cost so net realization in 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 colo business is about 75 lakh rupees <laughs> per megawatt if you talk about cloud so uh, since we are doing a colo and there are a lot of demand that was coming especially from the our strategic partner which is railtel and a tcil to get into certain level of an managed services uh so we have initiated the discussion and uh, we have invited orange why orange because the orange is a is a global company it's a french company and they are world's largest telecom integrator and uh, the cto that we hired for the cloud business also comes from the orange so and this is a global name so we are doing in a cloud which will be launching soon uh, most probably by december of our cloud services will be up and running the server testing are going on and orange will be managing it If you talk about the revenue on this side, uh, of course, the cloud is sold on a on a, on a storage space basis, on virtual machine capacity, on computing speed. But if we convert that into a megawatt concept kind of a thing, uh, if it is not more, but at least it's a five x of what we get in the in the uh, colo space. And of course, there are certain operational costs, which is about twenty twenty two percent of the total revenue that we generate. then of course there is a, another level uh, uh, which will come with an artificial intelligence that we are working on actually so that will further enhance the revenue potential so 360 ka colo pe if you talk about the revenue potential we expect about 3000 crore of the annual rental once the entire 307 is operational without the cloud element the management has a plan to do about 25% of the total installed capacity as a cloud that happens after once that is completed the targeted revenue is about 6 to 7000 crore with a 75% of the co-location business and 25% of the cloud business of course we'll add the ai thing and thing that will be over and above thing whatever that will happen so we are talking to google as market most actually
so uh, as manoj ji started with the uh, information about the company we uh, we have a three segment at present we are working on first is the real estate which is totally on sector 63 uh, we are focusing we have acquired the around 200 acre of land parcel out of 100 200 we have 50 we have already delivered 50 with the birla at present that we are expecting the 1000 crore of a contribution from that land parcels and remaining 100 acre for which we are expecting around the total top line of around 15 to 18000 crore rupees for which we are going to incur around 3800 of cost and remaining will be the cash flow to the company this is the real estate part of sector 63 apart from that we have a prospect to acquire another 50 acre of land parcel in same sector near by land parcels the acquisition we have done in this sector in such a manner that we are expecting around 50 acre of land parcel will come definitely to us and uh, that will be added for the more real estate business in that sector apart from that uh, uh, we have a 100 on 1 acre of land parcel in reliancea for which we are not at present doing anything big uh, we are expecting the master plan in next 2 to 3 years and thereafter the uh, because of that change the fsi will definitely increase and then we will take that uh, land parcel and third portion is the uh, data center business as uh, manoj ji has explained you so these are the three segment for which we are uh, presently doing and uh, as uh, real estate and data center is the prime focus at present and delhi ncr land we will take up after 2 and 3 years so so jo 101 acre land hai delhi mein so there is already a master plan so based on that master plan we have a potential of about 5 to 6 million square foot that can be done and since this is in a prime area of a delhi the capital value estimated is about 40000 rupees a square foot kind of a thing but based on the revised plan which has already been cleared by the lg of delhi which is pending before ministry of urban development because there was a general election happen now uh, uh, the delhi delhi election is due by october november so that should come post delhi election if that approved finally by the urban development ministry this potential of 6 million will go about 12 million square foot Yeah, so can we start with the Q and A? Yeah, I think we can start with that. Yeah, so the first question we have from uh, Manish. Yeah. Manish, you can go ahead. Oh, am Manish. I am I unmuted now? Am yeah, I, yeah, yeah. We can, we can hear you, Manish. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So my compliments. You heard or you did not? Uh, no, I missed that. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manoj ji, fantastic presentation. You along with uh, uh, Pankaj ji. So thank you so very, much. Very, very well presented. So uh, my compliments, sir. Now thank my question so is that uh, huh? terms, because the time is short, so I can't spend huh? more time in complimenting. So, uh, sir, the issue is the land in Gurgaon. Now, DLF is also crying now because you know they are finding selling land, uh, selling uh, projects in Gurgaon difficult. If you see the Q2, uh, there are there have been hardly any uh, launches, and the same is the case with other uh, builders also. I think your strategy of uh, allocating 50 acres to Bavirla, but thousand crores is looking good. However, uh, uh, my take is that see, still you have a lot of land there, and again another 50 acres is being talked about. So, how are you seeing the real estate potential? in Gurgaon. Basically, that Correct. इंडिपेंडेंट फ्लो करेक्ट ठीक है सो प्लॉट ऊपर आ रहा था तो वी इन कैश दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी बिकॉज़ वी हैव अ प्लॉट्स व्हेन फ्लो मार्केट गोन अप वी हैड अ फ्लोर सो वी कैप्चर दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी टू व्हेन मार्केट मूव अलोंग विद प्लॉट एंड फ्लो टू द हाई राइज देन वी हैड द हाई राइज वी लॉन्च अ प्रोजेक्ट कॉल्ड स्टेट रेजिडेंसीज व्हिच हैज बीन फुली बुकड सोल्ड एंड 1800 करोड़ काइंड ऑफ अ रेवेन्यू दैट हैज बीन कैप्चरड एंड 20% डिमांड हैज बीन कलेक्टेड सो फार राइट अ 
the launches has not happened not because there is no demand because there is no land see understand on a golf course road we have a eight sectors 59 to 66 usme the group housing allowed is only on the 20% of the land average sector is 300 acres most of the land has been initially launched sold went into dispute or delivered pure micro market mein there are four people are holding the land one was the brahma city which is a highly litigated property where adani is trying to do something the another portion of land was with the ireo ireo they are running through ed cbi cases every day the the uh, management is facing lot of issues and uh, there was embargo there is attachment and everything is happening <laughs> Imar and DLF has bought, bought na, sir. Sorry for interruption. Sir, DLF has bought that land, na, sir. Uh, one portion of that land he bought from the lenders, actually. Oh, so one portion only. On, only that was about 25 acres, actually. So there's a one portion that has been acquired by the Oberoi Reality, which was a brownfield project. He'll have to take approval, demolish the entire building and redo it. One portion is bought by the by the DLF, which was a clear land, which we taken an NOC and this thing. Correct. <laughs> the third holder was the Imar MGF. They run through their own problems. Still, the problem is going on, but still, they have to think and deliver. So, other than those land parcels which has to be sorted out, they are litigated. There is no land available. And even if there is a land is available, there is no density available. See, density 20% agar consume ho gaya, you have no choice other than to do a plotted. Plotted mein kya hota hai? you need to have a contiguous land of 25 acres accessible from main road. And it has to be attached to the press sector plan, actually, or a sector road. Consolidating 25 okay. acres at this market is a toughest job to do because A, the land is fragmented. B, there's a landlock happen. C, the prices went out of the roof. Right. The advantage that we have, I'll tell you, the sector is 350 acres, 63 acres. We have to take a look at the government. We have to take a look at the government. We have to take a have a We We have a We We to make an a licensable land. So ultimately, either that land will be barrel land or will be attached to the our township. Whether the land owner directly attached to us or some investors step in, he buy from the land owner and he collaborates with us. So that's the advantage we have. Secondly, as I told you, there is no inventory. So our DLF has selling everything. He launched Arbor, he booked it, he launched Pirvana South, Pirvana West, everything is sold. See, DLA bought the land from IREO at such expensive price. The reason because there is no land available. Right? And when there is no land available, there is no supply that will come into the market. Okay. Thirdly, there are two, three people they face the problem. I'll tell you why. Sir, extension road or SPR are more different. Hota hai. Extension road or Dwarka Express are more different. If you are about Bombay launching something in Bandara, Launching something in the Warli and launching something in Andheri are three different things. If right. somebody says I will launch in Andheri at a price of the Warli, is it feasible? Mm, okay. So the the because see every micro market has a dynamics. <laughs> so agar SPRP, if you launch at a extension road price, it will fail flat. Do you have to discount about 10 to 15 percent? If not 20 percent, to Aram say that you have to discount it. Which market had not done it, that's why they have to revise the price. Okay. So this is the thing. So market is stable. Okay. So CAC is prices were going up. But now market is stable. We have launched launch the state residences in February, March this year. That is trading at now 21, 22,000 rupees square feet, which is an absolutely acceptable price. We are selling the piece of the land, which is plots, at 3 lakh rupees a square yard, and people are buying and building floors and selling it. That is absolutely going to the end user. So, okay, the inventory that is going to the end user, plots is converted into the built-up space. And thirdly, if you look 58 to 66, then other than DLF, Anantra is one Heinz project. Nothing has been launched in the last two, two and a half years time. Correct. I'm talking about micro market. Ki baat kar Correct. Correct, sir. 
सो दिस इज वाई और सेकेंडली क्या ना इन दिस माइक्रो मार्केट द प्राइस इज नॉट आर्टिफिशियल इनक्रीज प्री करेक्शन बारह तेरह हजार का प्राइस था आज अठारह से इक्कीस हजार का प्राइस है If you add GST impact, if you add the input cost, if you add the approval cost, if you add the the land cost which has gone up, the market is stable. It's not that something there is a scope for this thing. Yes, if somebody says that expressway will sell at twenty five thousand rupees and then to push the sale they have to reduce the price by three thousand and five thousand rupees, I think they are good in doing that thing. They should have launched even at fifteen thousand rupees. So that market may prior to this correction price was six thousand rupees a square foot. तो वहां का ऑडियंस इज द कंज्यूमर इज डिफरेंट करेक्ट या सो बेसिकली सर आप ये कह रहे हो कि मतलब द टू समराइज दिस व्हाट यू आर सेइंग इज दैट द माइक्रो मार्केट 58 टू 66 इज द गोल्फ कोर्स एक्सटेंशन रोड सेक्टर्स ऑफ व्हिच यू आर प्रेजेंट इन सेक्टर 63 एंड इन 63 यू बेसिकली कैप्चर द होल सेक्टर बिकॉज़ आउट ऑफ 350 50 इज गोइंग इनटू यूटिलिटी and you have 200 odd so balance बैलेंस बचा कितना सौ एकड़ के करीब बचा तो वो जो है क्या कहते हैं कि जब सौ एकड़ बाकी बचा है वो होगा किसी के पास फेर इन सौ में तीस चालीस एकड़ का ऑलरेडी डेवलपमेंट हो चुका है ओके ओके अच्छा हाँ यार नहीं नहीं बट सर वो डेवलपमेंट तो आपका ही हुआ है ना जो जो नहीं, वो तीस एकड़ का तीस एकड़ का आईडियो का पुराना डेवलपमेंट है विच हेज बिन डन एंड कम्प्लीटेड एंड डिलीवर्ड आईडियो का ओके 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 बट सर सो नाउ इन दिस माइक्रो मार्केट ऑफ 58 टू 66 बिकॉज़ लेट अस से दैट यू नो दैट नोएडा एक्सटेंशन सॉरी गोल्फ कोर्स एक्सटेंशन लेट दिस बी द वन सेगमेंट ऑफ द टोटल गुरगांव सर हाउ मच इज द टोटल प्राइवेटली हेल्ड लैंड बैंक से मे बी विद डीएलएफ और मे बी विद अनंत राज एंड आप एंड अदर लाइक यू नो एम3 एम एंड सो मेनी प्रोजेक्ट्स आर लाइक फ्लोटिंग अराउंड so what is the total I meaning we basically want to understand as to what is the total availability and of which how much is basically being is being proposed to convert into a saleable project manish ji kya hai ki prior to this uh, uh, change in the market scenario until covid to from 2014 15 se 2020 18 आते आते ना देर देर इज अज वर्ड दैट हैज बीन यूज बाय एवरी डेवलपर लैंड इज अ लाइबिलिटी करेक्ट सो उस सिनारियो में नो बडी हैज इंक्रीज द लैंड ओनली करेक्ट दे हैव ट्राइड टू मोनेटाइज इन अ वन वे एंड अनदर वे द स्पिन स्पाइक केम पीपल हैज ट्राइड टू सोल्ड द लैंड तो फ्यू पीपल सोल्ड द लैंड फ्यू प्लॉट फ्यू पीपल हैव लॉन्च द प्लॉटेड एंड सोल्ड द प्लॉट्स क्योंकि and then then it continued correct to aaj ke din jo developers hain who has a capability to do it who had a spotless track record even in the worst times of the market uh, the the where the market has a confidence on the developer ki isko paisa denge to if banayega nahi to paisa safe hai paisa to wapas mil jayega ya product mil jayega theek hai वैसे लोग हैं कितने नो बडी बिलीव ऑन आई मतलब सी आप यू यू कैन काउंट द डेवलपर्स ऑन द फिंगर कि हु वाज सस्टेन इन दिस मार्केट और नो पीपल वाज नॉट सस्टेन इन द लिटिगेटेड लैंड डिस्प्यूटेड लैंड पीपल हु सस्टेन हैज नॉट इंक्रीज देयर लैंड होल्डिंग ड्यूरिंग दो टाइम दे आर ट्राई टू मोनेटाइज इट कीप द लिक्विडिटी इन द हैंड सो अदरवाइज आप ये देखिए ना डीएलएफ हैज बॉट 25 एकर लैंड एट अ 900 करोड़ यस व्हाई बिकॉज़ दे डोंट हैव द लैंड होल्डिंग करेक्ट सो किसी ओके सो लैंड होल्डिंग में भी विद द लोकल्स फ्रेगमेंटेड पीपल हैज नॉट सोल्ड लैंड बिकॉज़ दे वर नॉट गेटिंग अ राइट प्राइस पीपल हैज नॉट कोलैबोरेटेड बिकॉज़ दे डिडंट हैव द ट्रस्ट ऑन द पीपल तो अच्छा लैंड होल्डिंग जो है वो कंसोलिडेटेड नहीं है हम्म जिस फैमिली को आप इकट्ठा करोगे तो 18 एकड़ लैंड भी नहीं बनेगी काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग समझ गए यू आर चेंजिंग अ 5 एकड़ लैंड पार्सल यू नो हाउ मेनी लैंड ओनर्स इन टू दैट 35 पीपल करेक्ट सर करेक्ट एंड स्टेरिंग लैंड है सर सर हां जी तो इट्स ऑल लेगेसी लैंड ना सर हां क्या मनी कैन आई ओके प्लीज यू टू रिटर्न द क्यू प्लीज वी हैव यस 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 थैंक यू थैंक यू आई अप्रिशिएट दिस इज इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक मनी विल सिट टुगेदर एंड डिस्कस ऑन एब्सोल्युटली सर आई विल विजिट यू सर सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम आदित्य जवर सर कैन यू गो एंड प्लीज Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. 
सर क्विक क्वेश्चन मेरा ये है कि हाउ इज द रेवेन्यू रिकॉग्निशन हैपनिंग इन दिस आई मीन रियल एस्टेट सेगमेंट जनरली वी डोंट सी टू मतलब कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ मार्जिन जनरली नहीं रहता है बट आई सी अनंतराज केस इट इज कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ मार्जिन वेर जनरेटिंग गुड पैट सो कैन यू एक्सप्लेन हाउ डू वी रिकॉग्नाइज रेवेन्यूज हियर दैट इज माई फर्स्ट पंकज जी वी आर रिकॉग्नाइजिंग द रेवेन्यू परसेंटेज ऑफ कंप्लीसर मेथड दैट इज वाई यू आर फाइंडिंग दैट द वी आर रिकॉग्नाइजिंग द profit uh, turnover based on percentage of completion we are not uh, following uh, as per the standard to process percentage of completion or completion process we are not following that that is why you are finding that consistency and aditya why this process i'll explain it to you the pre sale number is a number where you got a initial advance and the sale is booked correct uh, there after you to construct it spend the money for construction and then you have to collect it from the buyers and the people who pay continue as your customer correct yeah. the when you book a revenue on a percentage completion method so there is a threshold limit which is in defined in the accounting standard ki 25 taka collect hona chahiye x amount of kharcha hona chahiye and all these things correct yeah. that reflects the true picture ki whether the pre sold pre sale that i have done whether it's a continuing whether the customers are paying there is no cancellation happening and the project is progressing so right. that reflects the true state of the project on the ground if the construction is not progressing we won't be able to book the turnover if customers are not honoring their contract they are not reaching to the next level of the demand they will be they won't be recognized as our customer for the purpose of the booking the the, the revenue on a percentage completion basis so we believe i think this is the, this is the right methodology to have a secondly kya hota hai ki isme taxes vaxes sare ke sare bundle up ho jate hain when you deliver the project so that comes are necessarily tax liability in this process your tax goes on a regular basis so this is it okay sir uh, in terms of uh, guidance when you talk we about move on to the other participant because we have uh, many participants yes, question there. one last 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 so in terms of guidance when you talk about 60000 crores in the real estate uh, asset we, we would generate तो कैसे होगा सर इन नेक्स्ट फाइव इयर्स ईच ईयर वी शुड डिवाइड बाय टू थाउजेंड थ्री थाउजेंड हाउ डू वी मॉडल अवर सेल्फ व्हेन इट कम्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू बिकॉज इट इज डिफिकल्ट इन द रियल एस्टेट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट सो इट विल बी हमारा रेवेन्यू इंक्रीज वुड बी इन वन ईयर इट विल बी बाउंस एंड अनदर इट विल बी लेस हाउ हाउ वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट वेन यू टॉक अबाउट दिस मल्टीपल रियल एस्टेट प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज माई लास्ट क्वेश्चन so sir basically uh, you are asking about the movement of the top line uh, we have yeah. planned the project in such a manner uh, progressive we are expecting to conclude it next 4 to 5 year maximum so it will be progressive because the plan is like uh, we are going to launch one group housing we are planning to group, uh, launch two group housing next finance year so we are expecting the progressive uh, top line from that so how should be the cagr i mean 20% 25% because 18000 crores is huge right i mean yeah you can take that but this is the projected figure which can't say uh, but we are expecting the uh, improvement in each financial year okay so we have the next question from gautam raj rajesh uh yes sir good morning yes, my uh, question was mostly on the market uh, how are you seeing the demand scenario any sign of weakness in the demand or do you expect the strong cycle to continue and uh, can you just repeat the guidance also once more for fi 25 uh, so when we talk about the market we we believe there are enough region market to remain strong a uh, the overall supply is very limited in the micro market or in the in the major part of the gurgaon b the market is dominated mainly by the end users so there is no speculative activities that is it's happening but it not to the that level secondly i think most of the project that has launched there is a lock in period of payment up to 30% and the average product size is 5 to 10 crore rupees So somebody is putting writing a check of one point five or two crore rupees or a three crore rupees to hold the inventory. They are a long term investors. So the products that have been launched will not come to the market for a resale for another two years time. 
so there will always be uh, the primary sales that will that will keep happening actually as well as guidance is concerned uh, as pankaj ji said total 16 18 thousand crore that something we have based on the land that is ready for the approval there is a certain level of approvals are there there are lands on which <clears throat> acquisition happen the the uh, approval process will continue in this financial year we have a target to be launch about 1.8 million square foot is ka mota mota top line will be 3500 crore the the, the pre sale and uh, next year also we have uh, plan to launch about 2 million square feet similarly kind of a 4000 4500 kind of a thing as far as cash is concern in this financial year pankaj ji estimate about 1500 crore of the collection that will come into the uh, from the real estate business correct Uh, yes sir and the 6000 crores for cloud comp uh, cloud computing and data centers how how long will we take for that 5 years 5 years okay thank you so much yeah. so we are progressing on that 6 megawatt started 28 will start by end of this financial year out of which uh, half but uh, secondly in 6 uh, the half megawatt of cloud is about to be operational in december and we will we'll keep enhancing our capacity because there is a strong demand for the both the segment actually Okay, so we have a next question from Hardik Gandhi. Hello, sir. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So, thank you for providing us with the number so explicitly. Honestly, this is the first time someone, as you know, mentioned all of these very blatantly. Ah, uh, so ah, uh, just wanted to know on the execution front. You've mentioned we'll do twenty-eight megawatt by end of this year. So, what what would be the rest of the breakup? Like, are you since you say, but by three, four to five years, you are going to execute. so uh, how how fast are we looking to ramp up this are there any supply constraints on these fronts no hardik we don't see a supply constraint because our well our, our supply chain has been strong we have a multiple vendors uh, see kya hai ki if you look at our data center journey we started in 2019 the first 3 megawatt we took 3 years but we have done uh, everything pick in the box we wanted to make sure whatever we do we do with a with a full uh, research with the capabilities and the capacities in the in the in the system with the company uh, after doing 3 we did a 6 another 3 in a 6 months time now we are talking about 28 and i think by end of uh, financial year next financial year which is uh, 26 we reach to pankaj ji 63 or 68 something like that that's the plan yeah 63 63 63 and so so if you look at our speed it will increase with the every day we passes right because we expanding teams our resources are increasing our backward and forward integration is happening uh, the the global players are connecting with us so by end of i think uh, so by end of financial year 30 we are confident this 307 will be entire will be operation along with 25% component of the cloud along with an ai thing also but ai projection and the business plan is still working on with the google in so that is something that uh, we'll talk to market after some time well, just to add on just as manoj ji said you know uh, yeah, once please. we started with the colocation part that was our first uh, initial step to come into the cloud part so as and when you know we uh, kept kept on meeting with various players that demand for cloud and other things came in so yes we are we being very uh, you know conservative in terms of our approach but yes co location as we did 6 uh, megawatts already operation manasar we have already put in the uh, things in our panchkula uh, project also so we will be getting another 7 megawatts ready by end of this year at panchkula project Okay, so the next question is from Vivek N. Yes, Vivek ji. Vivek, you can go ahead. He's still on the mute.
Okay, we move on to the next uh, participant that is Harsh Mehta. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, can yeah. Hear you. Um, yeah, so thank you for the opportunity, sir. I had a few questions. Um, I wanted to ask what is the capex requirement per megawatt for the data center business? So, um, whatever we have as of now today, uh, you know, our, our existing land and building in Manasar or Panchkula Rai. The capex that we are spending around for our co-location is around 26 crores per megawatt. And uh, what would be the uh, payback period for this? So the revenues I, I hope has already started. Uh, so maximum uh, say around three years. Three years is what we are looking at as a domain for uh, the payback. And uh, is there uh, an opportunity for us to reduce this capex per megawatt in the future? See, as in how the technology is evolving, uh, you know, uh, like uh, we've already started uh, considering various other uh, <coughs> factors uh, as per locations. You know, uh, we have we have achieved the best PUA in, in the industry, which is 1.5, 1.47 uh, average annual rise. So as in when, and we're exploring various other uh, factors, you know, in terms of liquid cooling, or we're going by green energy. So yes. As and when uh, the technology is evolving, we are exploring new new ideas to reduce the carbon footprint as well as in the efficiency of the data center. Can I pose my question now? Uh, I just have one last question. Can I? Yeah. Um, so uh, you yeah. said fifteen nine. Professional. Can I speak now. Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you. So, um, you know, Anantaj now got a uh, standing in the market as a leading provider in the data center space. Thank you. But, uh, a lot of the commentary uh, today, uh, and of course, based on the history of the companies on the real estate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is which is fair because you know that's your lineage, and you're now kind of um, you know you're targeting any opportunity uh, thanks to your real estate background and hence uh, data center. But going forward, uh, what would be the growth guidance for these two sectors? Because um, Anandraj, as far as I am concerned, got a lot of publicity because of the data center work that you're doing, co-location and so on. But when you gave your guidance, what proportion of your growth will come from uh, these two sectors? And uh, how should we as, uh, we as investors look at your company in the long haul? So, uh, sorry. We, we, uh, see, क्या है कि the group focus is on both sectors, equal focus in fact. So we are pushing real estate as we are pushing the data center business. Uh, in the real estate sector, we already have a lands at a two location, which is Kurgaon sector 63 and the Delhi land parcels. As I mentioned uh, earlier on this call is that Delhi may about 12 million is the potential. If we talk about capital value, it's about 40,000 rupees a square foot. 50,000 crore of business is there. And, and in a township, the land is already approved to a certain level and the final approval process is going. We will get about 16 to 18,000 in 3 to 4 years time. And there's a new acquisition that is happening. There are JDS that is happening. So, and if you look from a cash collection point of view, uh, Next three to four years, the data, the, the real estate collections or a surplus will supplement the growth of the both the sectors. So real estate is a key element for us to continue grow and increase the speed of the execution and the launches. Equally, we want to focus on a data center where we do a lot of value creation. So we have a 307 megawatt at a three location. As you see, initially, we are talking about only the co-location. We will provide up to the rack and then we'll do nothing. Now we are CSP, cloud service provider as well. And now we are talking to Google where already the framework agreements have been signed, wherein we'll be giving an artificial intelligence based solution along with the Google. Correct? So these things are progressing. So we have to read these two businesses separately. And both will be driven by the, by the domain experts and both will grow equally and uh, I think both will contribute 
substantially into the into the balance sheet of the Anand branch. Thank you, sir. Uh, just one concluding point point here. Yeah. So you said 307 megawatts and roughly if we take, you said 90 lakhs, even if we take 1 crore a megawatt. Mm. So you will maximum as per this uh, projection, you will go to 300 crores or 307 crores on the uh, data center co-location business. On a monthly basis. Am, am I right in that? O only monthly. This, this number is monthly number. Okay. So 307 crore at full tilt uh, would be the monthly number. Yeah. So it'll be at around three and a half, uh, three thousand six hundred crores uh, in five years' time, on a in a co in a co-location space. The co-location stroke dotted yeah. the space, whatever, right? That's yeah. your thing. And uh, in five years, what will be the real estate number uh, given all the projects that you are planning? Uh, see, I'll tell you. Mm. Uh, in a in a data center, this number that uh, you just calculated, 3,000, 3,500 crore, this is only for the pool location business. Now, uh, since uh, the we have started the cloud with the orange, right? Uh, in a cloud business, the business planning that our tech, tech team has been done, the revenue realization is substantially high as compared to colo business. Of course, there is a capex involved into it. So, in a cloud business, if you do a uh, apple to apple comparison, so megawatt me capacity count hoti hai colo me. Agar hum data center ko sorry cloud ko agar hum megawatt me compare kare, to isme five x ka revenue hai. To wo jo nabbe lakh hai, wo saare char panch crore ho jata hai, right? To isme se three hundred seventy me se we have planned to do about twenty five percent of this capacity as a cloud business. Of course, we are launching our pilot cloud on December for which server testing and commencing work is going on. Equipment has already been ordered. Yes, there is a capex involved in doing the cloud other than what we do for the for the co-location. So, mota mota is me jo hum other megawatt ka uh, space that we converting into the cloud that is costing about twenty two crore rupees. So, agar hum Full megawatt we baat kare, 44 crore additional capex that will be incurred. So okay, so if you take Vivek, uh, uh, due to time constraint, we take that as the last question. Okay, okay. And uh, we okay. would invite uh, Anandraj management uh, for a next phone call as well. We'll schedule and we'll let you know because there are a lot of participation and also there are a lot of questions from participation. But we uh, we need to end the call here due okay. to time constraint. Yeah, yeah, I am overwhelmed more than 200 people, you know, <laughs> this uh, yeah. great attendance. So, actually, so I would like know. to thank the management on behalf of Aryan Capital for sparing time and sharing the insight. Hey, but you. surely we will keep the call once again. Sure, yeah. Sure. yeah, and participants, if, uh, if there are uh, more things to uh, clarify, uh, just get in touch with the Aryan team. Thank you once again, management, for participating with us. Thank we you so much.